way that policymakers or pundits can connect the dots and see this big picture. This is what Crisis Group's Iran-US trigger list project will do. This will be a, uh, an early warning platform that will lay out all the flashpoints where there is a lot of friction between Iran and the US and their partners and allies on the ground so that everyone could follow these developments, get the latest analysis from Crisis Group, and also uh, be able to see what are the options of de-escalation uh, of tensions in those areas. So what you have is too many fuses, too little, too little diplomacy, and too few people talking to one another. And our job at the International Crisis Group is to raise alarm bells whenever something happens and to keep a watchful eye on all these potential triggers of conflict so that we can inform policymakers and say, what's happening in Lebanon won't stay in Lebanon. What's happening in Syria won't stay in Syria. What happens in Yemen, in Iraq, elsewhere can't be contained. And what happens with the nuclear deal also could have repercussions on all of the, these theaters of conflict. So that's why we inaugur we're inaugurating this, this trigger list to force ourselves and obviously then to force others to keep a comprehensive, holistic view on all of these elements each one of which may look very separate. But as I said, all it would take is a conflict in one of these theaters of confrontation for the entire region to be aflame. And that's what I think Crisis Group is dedicated to do, which is to do early warning so that we tell people here's what's happening and then when it happens to give advice.